Welcome Virgo and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading for November 25th through December 1st. Virgo, it looks like somebody's wanting to move something to calmer waters and apologize. Stick around. Let's see where this goes. Hey guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, if you're returning, thanks for the love and support. I really appreciate my subscribers. Uh, please keep in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Also, I'm available for personal readings. If you're interested in getting a personal reading from me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you use my promo code, you will get $10 off your first reading with me. Let's get into this and see where it goes. Virgo, you're starting off your reading with the Six of Swords. Somebody's wanting to move conflict from rough waters to calmer waters. Somebody's wanting to come in and apologize. You have the, the page of coins. Pages are messengers, but it's something that you can hold on to. So this could be an apology. An apology and a love, a love message here. So you're getting somebody wanting to, you know, apologizing sincerely is what I'm seeing. So they want to move the conflict to calmer waters and apologize sincerely. Somebody is up in their head. Look at all those swords around this person. Got that blindfold on. This person is in uh, just up in their head about this. They're not stuck. They're just, they think they're stuck. And that's this queen of swords. She doesn't show her emotions very well. And she's very, uh, she's strategic and she's, she wants the truth or she's going to give the truth in a matter. But she's very anxious here with the nine of swords. So she's very up in her head and anxious right here. And she's wanting to, to move all this conflict to calmer waters. But this row right here is the one that's catching my eye. You have an ending here with the 10 of swords where somebody's backstabbed. You've got all these swords around her over here. She's up in her head about this. Very anxious about ending. You have conflict. She wanted to win at all cost. You know, this is, you know, two people walk away from this because this is a, a such a bad fight. It's such a such conflict. But there was deception here with the seven of swords. So you have a lot going on right now, Virgo. You have somebody coming in to apologize sincerely and try to move this to calmer grounds. You're really wanting to get past all this. But these six cards right here, this person's up in their head so anxious about this there was you know it, they're either wanting an ending here or they're ending the conflict and the deception and they're being very guarded here with the nine of wands this is the wounded warrior card you know very you know just look at him bent over he's got one wand left to give you know so he's he's been through it this person's been through it they want this conflict and deception to end somebody's discontent here you know, this is, an, this is an offer that they could have missed an opportunity or they're not taking that opportunity. But they are looking at the past here. They're looking at a past offer, possibly. Somebody may have offered their cup to them in the past and they didn't take it because there was a lot of conflict and deception going on. And now they're coming in to apologize for that. Now, this is looking at the past, the seeds that were planted. And somebody here is coming in to speak their truth here. They're coming in quickly to speak their truth. This is about a third party because this was an offer that somebody gave in the past, which was a third party because this is my three of this is my third party card, the three of pentacles. And underneath that we have the six of cups. So somebody, an ex possibly. This is the third party was an ex this person got involved with. It's this person that is speaking their truth about this. She's very up in her head about a mess that she's caused. She's apologizing sincerely, but and she's anxious and she's very feeling very stuck here, feeling backstabbed, feeling there was conflict and deception, very guarded because you know, maybe she took an offer that she shouldn't have taken. And looking back at that, she realizes that that was a mistake because it was somebody from her past. 
that she's going to come in and speak a truth about. This person's going to speak a truth about this with the third party that she put you in from her past. Now, she is definitely being sincere here, so keep that in mind. This is a sincere apology. Somebody is wanting to reconcile here with a judgment card and offer their cup with the Knight of Cups, wanting to come in and offer their cup. Now, they may have offered their cup in the past to that third party, but they're speaking their truth about what they've done. They're coming clean about it. They're wanting to work on something here with the Eight of Pentacles. They're wanting to work on something. They're speaking a truth. They're reconciling, wanting to reconcile and speaking their truth about some options here. That truth about the options. That's what you're going to get. The truth about the options. And there's a decision. Somebody's at a crossroads wanting to work on something about the options they want to speak their truth about. There's some options here. You're at a crossroads going to make that decision. Somebody's gone. Is they're not? This person was not speaking to you. So this person was holding on to secrets, which is the deception and the conflict and all of the ending and all of that. This person wasn't speaking. They're the keeper of the secrets. And, and, you know, they're using their intuition here. She's, in, in, you know, she's using her intuition, but that's a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You know, there's a lot of swords on the board here. So you got a lot of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius here. Yeah, you have a lot. Of, you have some Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Everybody is here right now. So, yeah, you have Virgo here coming in in your own reading, you're showing up in your reading. So, you know, you have the the high priestess and the hermit. Now, this person's using their intuition. They've gone within. This may be an awakening. See, there's a couple combinations that I that really catch my eye when I get the temperance card next to the hermit or the high priestess next to the hermit. This is, you know, could be, you know, going within, shedding some light on it, using your intuition, really understanding the situation. You're having hope here for success. This is Aquarius. You wanna you you've looked at this from a different perspective. All of this. That's what she's feeling stuck about. That's what she's up in her head about. She could have been the person that she could have been in the third party with could have been a player. It could have been her being the player. Players could be male or female. Somebody who was in and out, somebody who was just there to have a sexual relationship. You know, maybe she felt used by this person. That's what all the conflict is. Why Why she's so up in her head about the conflict and the deception, because she's very guarded about it. She's wanting justice here. This is Libra. Wanting some justice here for this person being a player. You know, she may have left a relationship and been played, and now she's wanting justice for that. And she's, you know, trying to recover here. This is, you know, the three of swords above the head, the ace of swords, ace of swords in their hand. So this person's up in their head about this. They want justice for what happened. They're manifesting this. They're, they're, you know, maybe there was manipulation. She maybe have been up in her head about the manipulation. This could be manipulation. This is, could be manifestation. It just depends on what cards fall around with it. Now, she was out in the cold here, so she could be manifesting this new beginning. You know, trying to offer her cup and work on something and. She has all the tools that she needs to manifest. She has the wand, the cup, she has the sword, and she has the pinnacle. So this person was out in the cold, at a lack. You know, this person could have been ghosted. This person could have been blocked. Because there was a choice between two, or this is a soulmate. So however it resonates with you, somebody's wanting their wish fulfillment. And they want their wish fulfillment in love. They want a new love beginning. So let me sum this up for you, Virgo. We have somebody who's definitely coming in to apologize to you sincerely. But there was a lot of nasty stuff going on. This person is up in their head, very anxious about an ending, about ending the conflict and the deception. But this person's very guarded. And, you know, she's looking at these past things. She's going to come in and tell you the truth. She does want to reconcile. So this person that you're dealing with is being truthful. This is, you know, and she's going to give you, you know, the truth about the options. 
and there's going to be a decision made here. But this person definitely wants wish fulfillment, and they want a new beginning here with you. So, Virgo, I hope this resonated with you. If it does, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you have a great week and a happy Thanksgiving.